If you find yourself amongst the redwoods in the Santa Cruz Mountains on a cool, wet day, you may be lucky enough to run into a banana slug. This fascinating species gets its name from its bright yellow body that resembles a banana. There are only three species of banana slugs along the entire west coast of the United States, and Santa Cruz's redwood forest is home to one of them. That's right, Areola max dolichophallus is endemic to the Bay Area, which means it is found nowhere else in the world. It is also the largest of all North American slugs. Its body is one long muscular foot. Banana slugs are gastropods that have lost their functional shell over time. On top of their head, they have two sets of tentacles, the optical on top and the sensory on the bottom. They use these to sense light and smell. Behind the slug's head is the mantle, which serves to protect the slug's breathing hole, which is also its anus and genital opening. When threatened, they can hide their tentacles beneath their mantle and contract their bodies to become very short and fat in order to protect themselves. Then, once the coast is clear, they will reemerge and continue their journey. Banana slugs can move up to 6.5 inches a minute. They excrete a thick mucus from their skin that makes a path for them to slide on by contracting and expanding their muscles in a rippling motion. This slimy mucus also makes them a challenging meal as it can be very difficult for a predator to digest. Speaking of eating, the banana slug is detritivorous which means it eats dead and decomposing plant and animal matter. This enables them to replenish the soil by recycling nutrients and making them available for new growth. It also does eat some living plant material and is especially fond of mushrooms. The banana slug's mouth is located on the underside of its head. Inside its mouth is a radula which is a toothed, conveyor belt-like tongue that they use to scrape their food into a pulp. This banana slug is enjoying a nice snack. During mating season, banana slugs release pheromones in their mucus that signal location to their potential mates. Although banana slugs are hermaphroditic, meaning they are capable of self-fertilization, they generally prefer cross-mating. Once a suitable mate is located, the banana slugs will begin copulation by inserting their genitalia into one another. Once they begin mating, it can last up to several hours. When they are finished, a pofflation occurs where one slug chews its partner off of itself. Banana slugs play a very important role within the forest ecosystem. Banana slugs are fascinating creatures. The more we learn about them, the more we can appreciate their presence. Next time you're in the redwood forest, make sure to keep an eye out for a banana slug.
Oh, a little skunky, but delicious. Mmm.